Hello everybody. So in today's lecture, we are gonna cover some more topics of our new plugin that is Advanced Custom Field. Okay, so I'm just gonna move to Advanced Custom Field settings, and of course, the new uh, uh, fields that I'm gonna work on is for this section. So uh, assume that uh, I mean for for design purpose or for now, we just have th uh, those three boxes for now. But maybe in the future, the client may want to add some more boxes like those. Like for example, there might be six boxes instead of three. So we can't just create uh, different input fields for each of the boxes. For example, for box number one, we have three different fields, which is the title, the description, and the uh, anchor tag. And again, for box two, those three uh, input fields, and again, box three, and uh, if the client says that I want to have six boxes here, then we need to have three fields for each of the boxes that the client asked us to create. So that's not an appropriate way to have that much amount of uh, input fields of ACF. So what we need to do, we need to activate first our ACF uh, Pro plugin, of course, so that uh, we might have access to ACF repeater field. I'm going to explain it in a uh, in a while that what is ACF repeater field. Let me just first uh, install the ACF Pro plugin. Okay. Add new. I'm just click on upload plugin because I have I already have downloaded there because ACF Pro plugin is not available on the WordPress marketplace. Of course, you need to either purchase it or get it from your friend. Okay, so I have installed the ACF plugin. Let's just activate this this one. I mean, this is the uh, Pro version, of course, not the basic ACF. So we need to go to our updates uh, setting of our ACF and insert the license key. Okay, so it's now activated and if we just navigate to our field groups and for the home page, let's just create another field and just name it as what are those? Um, let's just call those uh, services. Okay, I don't know what, what uh, this section is about, but let's just uh, call it services for now. Okay, so this is not going to be a field type of text and after uh, installing the ACF Pro plugin and activating it, we now have unlocked all other uh, different field types which were available for Pro versions. Okay, so let's just navigate to our uh, to the last uh, part of this one. Okay, this is the repeater. So we need to first select this one. So basically, repeater. Uh, inside the repeater we need to create these three fields the first one is title second one is description the third one is let's say link okay or url so i'm just going to create a text field which is going to be our title that's it and we need to create another field make sure that we are inside our services uh, repeater field okay this is our parent uh, input field or uh, which is repeater and then inside repeater field we have now different fields which is first one is a uh, title the second one is of course the description okay and the third one is going to be url uh, i mean these there are three settings available for the layout we by default it's table we can have block or a row version okay whatever you prefer you can just select any of the layout you can just gi uh, give it a try and try it, uh, those different layouts I'm not gonna display those layouts for now so let's just move to our home page edit it and here here you can see we have now services part here and there's a button here add row so what we actually did, we didn't create different fields uh, for each of our boxes. For example, in, in this case, we have three boxes, but as I said, there might be chances that client uh, say that if we, uh, what if we can have six boxes here? So we can't just create input fields for each of our boxes uh, for, uh, I mean, for, for all the boxes. So I'm not just gonna create, 
different fields for for those uh, boxes what i did uh, instead i just created three fields which is uh, title description and the url and just put those fields inside a repeater field which means that the client can now provide a uh, title description and the url for each of the boxes every, you know, i mean every time the client clicks on add row uh, this is going to provide uh, those three fields okay so like i just created another and again we have now title description url and another and then again we are going to have title description and url here so for now let's just copy this one and paste it here the second title here it is oh really okay and the next is healthy diet plan so i just copied that from there as well and just and because uh, those descriptions are same so i'm not not gonna copy description for from each boxes I just copied one and paste it here, paste it here, and paste it here. So for URL, for now we are just gonna put the home page URL. And this one. So as you can see, for now, uh, for the design purpose, I just added three rows. As you can see, one, two, and three. Of course, if client wants to add more boxes in the future, they can just simply do this one. Click, click on the add row and just create this one now because we will be implementing that repeater uh, functionality inside our code so we don't uh, have to worry about that what if our design gets broken or if there is an issue okay so i just uh, updated that page as well so again we will now move to our acf field so that we can be sure about our different fields name okay so I'm just gonna uh, come here inside our code and this is the intro section okay we have now three divs here so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna delete two of our boxes from here and I'm just gonna leave one for our structure okay as I said for this course you need to have some basic knowledge of PHP JavaScript HTML and CSS so this is where your knowledge is gonna uh, be useful so I'm just gonna create a PHP tag here and inside that first I'm gonna use the if condition here okay and as we have used the if condition here we need to close that if section as well okay so inside our if uh, condition we first we need to check have underscore rows I mean that's a uh, function of ACF so I'm inside a uh, have rows function we are gonna provide a parameter which should be the slug of your ACF repeater field okay this one this is one so I'm just gonna copy services from here this is the slug and inside our if condition we are going to start a loop okay so just give me a minute i'm going to explain each and everything in detail that what i mean uh, why we added if condition here okay just bear with me okay so inside our php we have now uh, we have started while so we, we need to end end uh, the while loop as well okay so basically what we are going to do now we are going to iterate or loop our repeater field that check how many uh, re that repeater field have boxes in in our current situation we have three boxes but in future as i said there might be six boxes or nine boxes or so forth and so forth so we just I uh, mean every time you use a repeater field make sure you use a loop for that repeater field okay so I'm just gonna use this one but and inside this one I'm gonna now use okay as you can see that we have now three different fields here 
first one is title i mean we can say that those fields are sub sub fields of our acf repeater field okay so for sub field first we need to uh, copy the slug of our title and let's just jump into our code and we need to use get sub field function okay and inside that function we need to pass the parameter which should be the slug of your uh, sub field of our repeater uh, field so basically as you might have some questions that uh, in in our upper section we use the function which is the field okay and inside our repeater field we use the get sub field function why i mean what's the difference so the difference is uh, i mean uh, for for those fields what we did we just created simple acf input fields and then we just fetch those field values from our database for that purpose you can use uh, you have two options either you can use the field function and pass the parameter or you we could have use uh, get field and in, uh, pass the parameter I mean which is going to our slug I think it is get the field yep okay so make sure whenever you use the get function you should have the echo here PHP echo here so uh, that's because the get uh, function of ACF or even the uh, any function of WordPress I mean WordPress core function which uh, starts with the get uh, keyword that just simply returns the value it doesn't echo or print the value okay so to print the value we need to use echo so if we just uh, don't use the get function we just simply use the, the field function we don't need to echo it because it's already uh, returning the uh, value as well and also it's echoing or it's printing the value of that particular field as well so and now because we already have a ACF field which is repeater so inside repeater we have different sub field which are the child fields of our repeater field so to access the child fields of our repeater field we use the get sub field function okay so of course now we, we have uh, used a function which starts with get we need to echo that as well okay just make sure that so I'm just gonna have remove this one and again I'm gonna get sub field okay that's it let's just copy this one and paste it here inside the URL so now let's jump to our browser and copy the description slug and again for the URL so now let's just jump to our site and see if we already have data yep so now let's just refresh this one and see if we have any error or, or if it's working okay okay I, I see what's the issue here we have an infinite loop here that's why it's not working so that's totally fine sometimes we face issues so don't worry about it so let's just see what uh, the what's the problem okay I just missed a function here I mean as soon as you create the while loop we need to define a function here which is the row okay so basically you are just defining it that loop has started and I mean we have to now find the rows okay I see there has some more issues I guess yep we still have that infinite loop why okay, okay. Just have that repeater field. Okay, let's just jump to our ACF repeater field documentation. 
and see what they say actually if have holes that's totally okay this one okay 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 i just made a mistake here which is i didn't use the have rows function here we again have to uh, write that function here as well have rows and then everything is perfectly fine 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 okay so now let's just see our site okay now the error is resolved and as you can see that these three boxes are perfectly working now okay this content we just remove the content from our HTML page and we are now displaying the content from our home page here okay so let's just add another row for now just for testing purpose of course and don't worry if it's uh, if it disturbs our design that's totally fine testing and then let's just copy this one update okay now we have four boxes so in future if client wants to add uh, 10 more boxes they can simply do that that's totally fine so that's it for now we will just uh, continue our lecture uh, in in the next videos and we will cover some more advanced topics of our acf plugin that is advanced custom field Thank you so much. Bye-bye. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I will be happy to resolve those.